Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, it's Jade Key. I'm back with another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make uh, this thing. What the fuck? This thing. There we go. The like flipping to negative makes it look like it's constantly moving type deal. It's actually really easy, so I'll just make a tutorial for it. Um, so this is going to be my source image because there's a lot going on. I think it could make a pretty cool effect. So um, what you're going to want to do is put your source image on one layer and then duplicate it by doing Control J or I guess Command J on a Mac. Then you're going to go to Filter, Liquify. Um, at this point, you want to decide how you want this to move. So I want the gun to come out here. I want this guy's hand to come out here. Um, this guy, I want him to fall up. This thing, I want to fall backwards. I want this thing to twist. I want the nose to grow. I want the mouth to open. And uh, I'll think of something for these people. Maybe I'll grow and shrink them. Definitely going to shrink that hallway. So I got my, my forward warp tool here. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and start moving the gun. And you want to do very, very small, subtle changes. That's it. Because the more you move this, the more like not realistic this effect is going to look. So the car... Wanted it to go backwards. And if it looks all blurry, it doesn't really matter because people aren't going to be able to see it. Um, Alright, so pretty much nudged everything where I want it. Oh, wait, no, not the nose. The nose needs to come out just a bit and then mouth should be opening. All right, now let's go ahead and do the twisting. So I want this to twist like in this direction. So I'm gonna just put it all over this and twist it. Just a bit though, because again, the more you apply the effect, the weirder it's gonna look. Um, I want his hand to come up a bit, actually, so I'm just going to twist it. I want his hand to go down, or up also, so I'm going to hold Alt and twist it. Alright. Um, hmm, maybe I'll make him look like his head is looking down a bit. I'll make her look like she's starting to look up. make her look like whatever and he can move down he'll be looking up he will be looking up this thing will twist that way this guy will twist up now we figure out what we want to shrink. So I move my brush size down, not that far. I'm going to adjust it with the square brackets. So I want this hallway to look like it's going backwards. So I'm just going to just, oh shit, that's way too much. See? Um, oh, change the brush rate down if it's going too fast still way too fast so I'm gonna put it way down maybe brush density there we go all right um, hmm. I'm not really sure that I want anything else to shrink maybe the eye and Mm. 
Maybe him. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Alright, now... Actually, she can shrink too, because I'm going to make these two people grow. So these people are going to grow. I'm going to, again, adjust the burst size. Um, and just click, click, click. Now let's see how this is going to look. So it's going to look really busy, but that's kind of what I'm going for. So now what you want to do is create a timeline. Just click those three like square things right here to go to this thing. Change the timing to 0 0.07 and then what you're going to want to do is duplicate these two layers by highlighting them both and pressing Control J. On this one, hit I, Control I, and on this one, hit Control I to make it negative, right? And then all you're going to want to do is on this first frame, hide everything but that. On this frame, add the second one. And then on these two, highlight them both. Hit this thing for motion tween. Frames to add, you want to add three frames. And hit OK, and it'll create frames. So you see, it does that. Um, hit this drop down box and hit forever, so it just loops. So clearly, this is not really what we're going for, but. Then you just hit new frame, put it to negative, hit new frame again, do the top negative, highlight them both, motion tween it. All right, and now you should end up with this. So that's a, just an easy effect to do. Um, Again, this one was like super busy, so it ended up like really weird. Um, we could definitely make this better, but hopefully now you know how to do the effect so you can create your own cool stuff. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and if you have any more requests, just let me know. Peace.